The Imbuvani project is an outreach project with a twist. It gets learners and educators at secondary school level excited about science by involving them in ant research. The project also generates valuable scientific data for the scientific community. It's really about combining science as well as outreach to grade 10 learners. Instead of simply handing them pamphlets or putting up notices about how the world works in a scientific context relating to biodiversity, the project actually engages the learners within their own curriculum to demonstrate how the world is affected by human activity and how we need to conserve the world. And, that, and that's really done through a project that involves collection of ants. And the reason for doing that is because it fits so nicely into the life sciences curriculum. With this project, the learners are not only learning about their own environments and, and gaining an appreciation of biodiversity, but what they're also doing is they're contributing to data sets which show how disturbed and undisturbed areas differ, how those differences change through time, what the impacts of the major invasive species are. It's an ant, the Argentine ant, which is one of the world's worst hundred invasive species, so it really is a, a problematic species, and it's quite common in the areas which we sample. Learners are taught how science works. This is done through a series of school visits and learner workshops, where learners help scientists with hypothesis formulation, the collection of biological data, and the interpretation thereof. Learners are shown how scientists use biodiversity data to answer research questions. We designed an experiment and also went to a lab whereby we used a microscope to identify um, different types of ants. The other thing is we learned about biodiversity. Biodiversity, as you all know, it is a variety of living things on Earth. It is very important to take care of our biodiversity because these animals and plants, they interact with each other. In order for them to survive, they need each other. It is during workshops that learners are presented with the opportunity to experience a working laboratory and to rub shoulders with a range of scientists. This provides them with a taste of what it is to be a scientist. For many learners, it is their first time working on sophisticated scientific equipment in a laboratory setting as well as in the field. In our school, we don't have that, that much of microscopes. You know. So the thing is, it was, so, it was amazing because I, I, I learned how to use a microscope on my own. So that was an amazing experience for me. During school visits and workshops, learners are presented with lessons relating to biodiversity and the effects of environmental change and biological invasions on local biodiversity. As a secondary aim, the project also trains and empowers life science educators to teach biodiversity in an outcomes-based manner. This is done through a number of educator development workshops and regular meetings with educators. What the project Baie Baie Fantastisch Maak is the fact that the kinders worden praktisch blootgesteld aan navorsingsmanieren wat op universiteit vlak gedoen wordt. En dan worden wanneer die kind die school verlaat, is die belangstelling al klaar geprikkeld op een baie, baie oulike manier. Ik denk dat my praktische sienswijse van dinge, en juist nou met die oog op wat gaan gebeur in die toekomst, met die praktisch wat moendelik deel van die um, uh, uh, vraagstelle gaan word, denk ek ons het eindelijk een voorsprong um, by Groendal Secundair, um, en die voorsprong was gegeen dier die Mbwani project van die Universiteit van Stellenbosch. Imbuvani strengthens its educational footprint further by providing life science classrooms with educational material and much needed scientific equipment, which allows them to do their own investigations. In the microscope that you have in front of you, you can see that we have a multimedia projector. Under the store is there a field microscope. Imbavani's third objective is to provide long-term scientifically reliable data on ant diversity in the Western Cape. This feeds into the work of the DST NRF Center of Excellence for Invasion Biology, or CIB for short, at Stellenbosch University.
The research component of the project specifically investigates how the distribution of ants across the landscape may be affected by environmental change. Samples are taken to the Imbuvani Ant Laboratory where it gets washed, identified and counted by trained staff. The special thing is about Imbovan is that it actually has sites over a large area uh, which covers the core zone of the Cape Floristic region which is an internationally renowned biodiversity hotspot. And ants are especially important in this region um, because um, the region is mainly known for its incredibly high uh, plant diversity. And a lot of these plants actually depend on ants for their seed dispersal. So estimates are varying, but at least a fifth or so of the plant species actually rely on ants for this service. Here are a few interesting facts. Imbovani continues to bring together outreach and research. In this way, Imbovani enhances our knowledge and understanding of our environment, while at the same time increasing the next generation of South Africans' awareness of our precious biodiversity.